Hello everyone, I'm Lakeisha Spletzer and welcome to this edition of Keisha's Talks. If you've been following my three year anniversary celebration, you know that yesterday kicked off my top 10 favorite moments from my novel, with the number 10 spot going to the book Moonbeams and the arrival of the college students. Today, we're doing number nine. It comes from the first book in the Elemental Symphony series entitled The Tempo. The Tempo was fun to write because it wasn't just my writing. I, in effect, co-wrote with four talented, amazing young ladies who gave me the characters for the book and allowed me to place them in a fantasy world. Now, since I know all four of them intimately and they're really good friends and dancers and some of them singers and writers, well, basically a creative bunch, it was quite easy to write a story revolving around them. They're very strong, they each have their own distinctive personalities, and it made this adventure that we've started with book one of six amazing. So my favorite moment from the book, oh let me count the ways how many there were, came when the four characters, Marissa, Tamara, Aaliyah, and Jasmine, had arrived at the Negrazo Mountains to train their powers. Well, let's just put it this way. Fire and wind really don't go together. And in one of the more epic clashes in the book, fire, Marissa, and air, or the wind, which would be Jasmine, butted heads once again. And an amazing elemental battle ensued. The best part of the battle was the fact that all four girls had a piece of the action. It kicked off with Marissa and Jasmine butting heads about who got the other in trouble with the teacher. And it kind of progressed from there, including some tornado and fire action, which then culminated in water, who normally should be able to douse everyone's temper, egging it on with her surging emotions. Finally, Earth had to stop it. Being the grounded one, Tamara said, enough guys, while Leah, the water, and the trickster laughed in the corner. That is my number nine favorite moment in the countdown. Don't forget to revisit the countdown each day so you can see which spot went to which book. And don't forget that the number 10 spot went to Moonbeams. Number nine is going to the tempo. Tune in tomorrow for place number eight.